which cancels out the two from the two pi, giving us the square root of pi as the final answer. So today we've got a really classic integral known as the Gaussian integral. We're gonna calculate it using polar coordinates. So we'll start by squaring it and then also taking the square root. So that means we haven't done anything. Now if we do that, we get the square root of the integral from minus infinity to infinity, e to the minus x squared dx times the integral from minus infinity to infinity, e to the minus y squared dy. That's all under a square root. Okay, now we can change that to the double integral over all of r squared of e to the minus x squared plus y squared dA. So now we're gonna make a change to polar coordinates. So that means x squared plus y squared becomes r squared, and dA is r dr d theta. And we're going as r goes from zero to infinity and theta from zero to two pi. And so that will capture the entire real plane and polar coordinates. And now, since there's no theta in the integral, we can just integrate that out because it's like a constant, giving us a factor of the square root of two pi. And then after a u substitution, we have the integral from zero to infinity of one half e to the minus u du, and that's still under a square root. But now that u integral is pretty simple. Since we've got the factor of a half, that just gives us the square root of a half which cancels out the two from the two pi, giving us the square root of pi as the final answer. And that's a good place to continue this rock climb.